The comic book film Morbius. Well, what can I say about this film? It's that there's a lot of things wrong with this movie. And after being delayed several times, then this film has a whole list of problems. Well, this is a film I never thought that ended up being made, but you know, Sony, they're gonna do what Sony does. And that is to make pretty awful films. Now granted, this movie, I was never looking forward to it. Even the teaser trailer premiered more than two years ago. And I was saying, why? Why did this film have to be made? Sony trying to do their own universe. And well, it kind of backfired in a big way. Now the acting in this film is not that great, but Jerry Leto, his performance as Dr. Michael Morbius, it's actually, it was fine. Everybody else kind of like phoned in. And I was saying to myself, there had to be like at least 25 minutes cut off from this film. Like this movie felt like it could have been two hours to span upon some of these characters. It's just the main issue with this film is that there's all these scenes in this movie and it doesn't flow evenly. It's all order, it's all over the place. And it just makes for terrible storytelling, in my opinion. The whole story of this film is that Michael Morris has a blood disease or something. And so he injects himself with DNA of a living vampire bat. And well, he becomes obviously this living vampire. Well, it's kind of say this movie is uninspired, it's dated. And it's a film I really never had expectations for. When I heard about the announcement of this film, I was like, you know, why is Michael Morbius getting his own film that's not even nowhere related to the MCU? Nonetheless, though, I've seen worse comic book films, but this movie here is pretty bad. Do yourself a favor and skip this one, because believe me, this movie is not worth your time. I don't understand why is Sony making these Spider-Man characters, you know, the villain solo films, but film them, I understood it because Venom is a popular character. He's fought Spider-Man many times in the comic books and movies, stuff like that, throughout the decades. But Morbius, why? You take Spider-Man out of that story, then who does Morbius fight? Well, he fights generic bad guy. That's all I can say without getting the spoilers of this film. And it makes for quite a uninteresting movie. There is zero character development for these characters in the film. The story is awful, the pacing is not great. And the only thing I probably did enjoy at least was some of the music. But other than that, this movie clearly ain't great whatsoever. It is a dumpster fire. It's a film that has issues. And at the end of the day, this is a forgivable comic book movie, in my opinion. I'm giving this film a four out of 10. Whatever good idea Sony had for this movie, it was completely thrown out the window and said, hey, let's make this film without Spider-Man. See, this is what happens. Sure, it may have worked for film to some extent, but for the character of Morbius, not so much. There is bad character development in this film, pointless elements, lazy writing, and two bad end credit scenes. And to make matters even worse, they tried to add some forced comedy in this film, but I didn't find myself laughing at all. And this is like one of those bad comic book films that came out back in the early 2000s. Nonetheless, at the end of the day, I will say this is one of the most embarrassing films to being released by Sony in quite some time. And that's my review of the film Morbius. Okay, leave your comments down below in the section. And let me know what you think about this film if you have seen it. All right, this is Slim Guy 172 saying, Peace out. When you're astray.